Hey there, this is Teacher La Podcast, episode 179, Why is English Hard to Learn? Part 3. My name's Ola, I'm an English teacher, I know you can eliminate your language blockade. I record this podcast episode with worksheets to help you start speaking faster and achieve fluency and enjoy all the things that come with it. Easy, light, pleasant communication. Visit my shop at teacherola.com, get your worksheet sets and enjoy your journey to fluency. Happy learning and hey, thank you for joining Top People. Hello again and welcome to another episode. Thanks for listening and sharing this episode with your friends. It really makes a difference and helps me reach people who need to speak to learn to speak English now. Thank you. The topic of our today's rant on English as a very difficult language is exceptions. Oh my gosh, I hate this language for it. Every rule is broken. So you basically learn one thing and after some time, when you go deeper, you see that all these rules are thrown out the window because, well, there are exceptions. Sometimes I think there are more exceptions than rules in English. Before we start, let me remind you, Speak English with TV Series online course, a program focused on eliminating language blockade is available now. Go to powiedztoś.pl and sign up for a free challenge and start speaking today. The link is in the description. It's powiedztoś.pl. Every Thursday at 11 a.m. I go live for a quick chat, short English class called Top Talk. You'll find me as teacherola.podcast. So join me on Thursday at 11 live on Instagram. Visit my shop, buy a worksheet set and have your worksheets in one place. They're editable and they include a habit tracker. If you'd like to join my lessons in a small group of six people, let me know, write an email or catch me on Instagram. Thanks for your patience and let's get back to the episode. Why is English hard to learn? Because of the exceptions. Let's see some of the most annoying ones. 1. Auxiliary verbs in affirmative sentences. At the very beginning of our learning English journey, we get to know that do does and other auxiliary verbs are used to formulate questions and negative sentences. For instance, do you like cheese? Why doesn't she eat meat? Life is good, everything seems to be fairly clear, but then we come across a sentence like this. She does speak Spanish. They did enjoy that event. What? Why? Well, it's okay to use do or does or did in an affirmative sentence for the sake of emphasis, to highlight that the statement is true. Listen to this short dialogue. I'm afraid they didn't enjoy our event. They did enjoy it. 2. Present simple for future tenses. Okay, so present is future. Wow, that's deep. But wait, no, it's just another rule. Inside the rule, we have to learn. Present simple is a basic tense. You can learn a little about it in episode 60 and 64. Check them to refresh your knowledge. We use the present simple to describe our habits, repetitive tasks, characteristics, qualities, things that are always true, etc. But the present simple is also used to describe the future. It's used for timetables and schedules. For example, The bus goes at 5 tomorrow. The coffee break is at 6 p.m. 3. If I were you. Okay, so I was, you were, she was, he was, it was. Wait a minute. If I was you. It should be if I was you. Well, it's the conditional, the second conditional. And these basic fundamental rules of English do not apply. Ha! That's illogical, that's annoying, and that's an exception. So, if I were you is the only correct way of expressing this idea. There are more, in fact. Although you can say, if she was fair, I would trust her. It's more correct, (laughs) on the scale of correctness, so to speak, to say, if she were fair, I would trust her. I know. Four. 
nouns with ing endings. In the sentence, I'm eating, eating is part of the verb, but I like eating is a gerund, a form of the verb that's actually a noun. It's especially confusing when there are possessive subjects in the sentence, like Adam's reporting consumed a lot of time. Adam is reporting equals Adam's reporting. What the? Five irregular verbs. Do I need to explore this topic? You know the pain. Learning all these columns of irregular verbs. Sing, sang, sang. And the pronunciation. Wow, English. You have the ED endings for regular verbs. Why on earth don't you use them for all of the verbs? Well, to learn irregular verbs, go to episode 152, Irregular Verbs Training. You know what? I could go on and talk about irregular plural forms, irregular adjectives, gradable and non-gradable adjectives, not to mention pronunciation, but I think we all have enough. Guys, let's practice now. Let's focus on doing instead of complaining. Listen and repeat. We all sang happy birthday to her. We all sang happy birthday to her. The telephone rang and interrupted my train of thought. The phone rang and interrupted my train of thought. Adam's reporting consumed a lot of time. Adam's reporting consumed a lot of time. We celebrated Adam's winning the contest. We celebrated Adam's winning the contest. If I were you, I wouldn't buy such expensive shoes. If I were you, I wouldn't buy such expensive shoes. I wouldn't make such strong comments if I were you. I wouldn't make such strong comments if I were you. The bus goes at five tomorrow. The bus goes at five tomorrow. The coffee break is at six p.m. The coffee break is at 6 p.m. She does speak Spanish. She does speak Spanish. They did enjoy that event. They did enjoy that event. Good job! Now go to your inbox and get the worksheet to test yourself. Translate the sentences into English. And if you're not a member of Top People, download the worksheet from teacherola.com forward slash 179. By doing that, you'll become a member and receive my weekly newsletter. And if you find this episode useful, tell your friends about my podcast. Thank you so much for doing so. Please rate this podcast wherever you listen. Thanks again. I'll see you next Wednesday. And hey, join the challenge. Go to powiedzcoś.pl and start speaking English today. Happy learning. Take care. Stay fearless and say it out loud. Bye. (laughs) 
masz blokadę językową. Dużo rozumiesz, ale nie mówisz po nie. Brakuje Ci słów, czasem tych najprostszych. Nie potrafisz szybko reagować. Jak masz coś powiedzieć po angielsku, zżera Cię stres. Masz blokadę językową, bo rządzi Tobą strach. Na szczęście można nauczyć się mówić swobodnie. Serio, można nauczyć się mówić swobodnie. Weź udział w darmowym wyzwaniu Powiedz Coś. Wejdź na stronę powiedzcoś.pl. Zapisz się na darmowe wyzwanie. Your journey to fluency starts now. Powiedzcoś.pl